The other thing, Frank, the uh, the World Juniors, uh, they're they're postponed, and uh, there's lots of talk that they'll they'll uh, fire those up again later this year. Same with the uh, the women's U18; they'll try to get those as many of those tournaments played as they can. But I don't know if did you read the story coming out of Calgary with the uh, the the juniors in Russia and the Czechs getting? Uh, I did read that. Planes? Yeah, smoking some cigs. I love it. What what, what are they? Ally Freedy lighting up between periods? Like what? Like. Mary what you. year is this? Yeah, but it, yeah, it's um. Well, when you're asked not to do it to stop and you don't, like, then it's just you know, I, like at that point, I'm wondering, like, where's the coaching staff, right? Like, apparently, the coaching be- staff was in business class. Oh, wow, jeez. But they were point. also hauled off the plane because they were part of the group. Yeah. Yes. So it's not. Uh, that's not a great look. I'll be curious. Um, when the world juniors, if they do get replayed, I, I do they ask, both, like, do they deserve to be in Canada again this time, if they replay them and I'm not saying well, general commentary as a whole, I'm saying, given what the Canadian government, the pressure that they've put on society as a whole, but particularly now with another sporting event, bringing in more teams internationally, I know this is Canada's game and all that. Should it be somewhere else? It might be right. I, I think it'll probably de- depend on. They want to keep in mind, Frank. You talked earlier about it's a business, right? Um, this this one wasn't shut down for health and safety. Let's make that. This was shut down because of business. Main like that was just as much of a reason. You would have had to cancel more games for sure because more guys would have got it. That was obvious. It was starting to spread. The, you know, there's no question about that. They but it was health and safety that was directed by the government. Because the stipulation that was in place from the government was once someone tests positive, that the whole team needs to be shut down. That wasn't an IHF rule. That was coming directly from the government that they had well, to what, negotiate. Well, are we sure? Because when the orders have a positive test, the whole team. That's, di- that's, that's different. That's not, that wasn't the stipulation with these teams coming in internationally. Oh, okay. Well, um, to me, that's part of it. Sure. So the games would have had to be shut down, but make no mistake. The, the lack of fans, the lack of no food and beverage in the building, I, I believe, played just as big of a role, right? They, because- but if it really was about business, you had already had the expense to bring everyone here. Yeah, but, you, but then you, but you're not recuperating. And the expense to put on the games. Well, right? But either way, it was sunk cost. You, you were pot committed at that point. See, I, I don't buy for it. one second that the reason that these games were canceled is that it's for business. They would have, I think they would have preferred to just motor on through and get it over with and get it, get a champion awarded gold medals distributed. And they couldn't do it. They knew that there was an integrity of the game issue. Yeah. How do we determine the quarterfinal standings? Who plays in the quarterfinals? Which teams need to be, which teams need to be essentially ejected from the tournament because of health and safety protocols. There was no way to, to really award a gold medal in any fair fashion. That's what no, they, I, that's the decision they came down to. Well, what if, what if one team would have had six cases, right? Are they going to play their all? No, the you're done with, with 15 skaters. No, like, no that's you, the point. Like they, it, but, that, but that's what I'm saying. The, the protocols and restrictions that were put in place by the government, one test should have made them not be able to play, let alone six. They had no chance to play. The government wouldn't have let them play. That's the way the protocols were written. So they might have been able to get some sort of special exemption, but the way the protocols were written, they couldn't possibly ice the team. No, no, I agree. But let's just say if they had, let's say they had NHL protocols, Mm -hmm. the way this one spreads, one team gets six guys, they don't have a farm system. There's no one they can call in, right? So then the games are screwed. I think that was a part of it that um, there were so many factors involved. Like, but to your question, I don't think it will be in Canada. Um, but it should it be, be I, I'm asking more of a philosophical question. Yeah. They've had two cracks at it now. It was supposed to be somewhere else this year. Yeah. It's well, it's going to be somewhere where the Federation, whoever it is, if it's USA hockey or whoever is willing to foot some of the bill, right? Like we learned all that, like the Edmonton orders were the ones who they foot part of the bill, but they also have the chance to make the money back in food and beverage. Right. right. So you've got to have a partner in the United States, let's say, or maybe they go to Europe. But my it's a guess tough is, ask. It's a tough in- ask in the U.S. Like there are only so many markets that are interested in hosting something like that, especially in June or July. It, it's right? the, the the number is really small. Yes. So that's why you have to find places that are willing 
to put up with the money because they believe they can make it make financial sense. I just think you need to put it in a place that has a viable chance to actually succeed with the help of the government. 